Drive Hive Jeff from Two Hatch Garage. Well, back to my shop. Got more parts in. We're down to all those little miscellaneous tasks. Uh, still going to be working on getting the transmission cooler in. I did get my JEGS uh, brake booster electric pump kit in to help assist with the power brakes because this intake manifold is not going to create any vacuum. Uh, I got a cool throttle return spring kit for a tunnel ram, also from JEGS. Just a whole bunch of miscellaneous tasks. We got to get this car going here pretty soon. No Name Nationals is coming up. Um, as you guys saw, I did get called out by Kiwi from Kiwi's Customs and Classic Cars. Super nice guy. It's going to be a blast. Um, he's going to be bringing a 67 Barracuda big block, I believe 505 cubic inch six pack with a four speed. Uh, Mopar House building it. Bunch of great guys right there. Respectable crew. Love watching their videos. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be really enjoyable racing him. I know he's got me beat in the weight department, but you know what? This Ford might actually have him beat in the torque department. So it's going to be a fun race. Win, lose, or draw. I'm going to shake his hand, give him a high five, laugh about it. Either way, in the pits, it's going to be a blast. Because winning's not everything, but the community of this culture, the No Name Nationals, truly is. So with that, what we're going to do, Mike is prepping some stuff. I got little Jeffrey here. We're going to bang out a bunch more little tasks on this. We're going to have a whole lot of fun tonight. That's what it's all about. So with that, we'll see you soon.
that's it for tonight. Um, it was actually a pretty good night. What we ended up doing is I bought some throttle return springs that they're made for Holley carburetors to be used like on a ton of ram or a blower. Um, it's kind of neat how they work. They actually mount to the base of the carburetor. It's got springs. It goes to your linkage and snaps them back. Um, however, just like everything else with this car, we had to modify them. It didn't quite work with the uh, steel lines that I had for the double pumper setup on that. So we had to just cut them. Micah re-welded them just to move them, put them in place where we wanted. After that, put the radiator uh, catch can in. Um, ended up putting the fan in, the electric fan. Nothing's wired yet. And we also put in the trans cooler. So what I am doing with this car is this is a three-core champion radiator that's got the built-in transmission cooler in it. After going through TCI's paperwork, I got the transmission and talking to them on the phone. They suggested that I run them in series. Uh, for better cooling, so I went ahead and made that. Last video probably didn't show it, but I made a bracket for that, got all that into place. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot of little odds and ends that we took care of tonight. I started measuring for the hole that I'm gonna cut in that hood. Um, it's a lot bigger of a hole than I originally thought. Um, but yeah, I think tomorrow if I get some free time, I'm gonna go and I have all the information now, what I need to get the power steering hoses built for this. It's a much different configuration than factory. I want to give Dr. Art from Dr. Art's Hot Rod Rehab uh, a much big thank you on that. I talked to him on the phone today, kind of walked me through of what I really need. Um, this whole system on this factory Ford was way different than what I actually have in it now. So yeah, it was just another Mad Dash video of getting stuff done. Probably forgot a couple other things that we took care of on here. My son was here for a little bit to help. But yeah, I think we're going to probably next video start uh, building the shifter plate um, for the shifter. We did take out the seat for that. Another benefit of taking that out, um, other than finding pocket change, um, we ended up going to be able to do a lot of the wiring. Because I'm going to have wiring back here for the flamethrowers, my O2 sensors. I'm going to have to curl up here in the dash. So there's a little tip for you. When you got to do that, take your seats out. I really wish I had the money for to get like a, a good racing bucket seat because when Micah and I took that seat out, it weighed probably 100 pounds or more. It was very, very hefty. And it's not even an electric seat. It is literally a manual seat, but it is massive. Um, it'd make a cool couch in a garage. But yeah, so got some more parts in, got some stuff on order. Um, I do got 15 by six uh, American Racing coming that my front runners are gonna be mounted on. Probably ordered a bunch of other stuff that waiting on a hell, I don't know. Uh, throttle bracket, going to end up putting that on, waiting for that to come in. Um, just a lot of other odds and ends. So, yeah, we just got a bunch of little small stuff. We still have a lot more other small stuff going on, but we're getting closer. Our list over on Micah's refrigerator is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And pretty much once we get a lot of this little stuff done, it's going to be down to the wiring. I'm going to measure for what I need um, and start buying that up here pretty soon. But, yeah, overall, good, successful night. I'm thinking I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, what do you good. think? Yeah. Best part about it is this is fun. This is all about fun. This is all about the community, about friends, everything like that. No drama, no BS, none of that. This is about fun, guys, and this community has been great. And I can't wait to race Kiwi. I know I said that earlier, but I love that guy's channel. I love how he collaborates with Tony and Mopar Al, and those guys just get together. They throw down just like Austin and the Junkyard Jets and Daddy's Money's Garage. It's really cool. We're kind of doing that same thing, just getting people together. Just throwing down, having a really good time. And you know what, Micah? Thank you very much. And we will see you later. Bye.